Gemini Cell I is finally here, and I've got questions. Can Gemini Cell I make Shopify apps? Can it make Shopify themes? Can Gemini Cell I beat Cursor and become the next Shopify developer? In this video, those questions would be answered. So without further ado, let's stop the yapping and get right to crap. The first thing that we're going to do is obviously install Gemini Cell I. So I guess the command that we're going to use to install Gemini is npm install dash g at google forward slash gemini dash cli. So let's just copy this command, go back to the terminal and just paste it here and press enter. And that should start installing the cli. This is gonna take, okay, I was about to say this is gonna take some time, but, and after that, we're just going to run gemini. Is it gonna take some time? Here we go. So we got the infamous gemini interface. And we got tips here to get started, ask questions, edit files, run commands, be specific for best results, create Gemini, markdown, and to customize your interactions with Gemini. But where though? In the folder? I guess so. And I believe this is where we're going to enter our prompt. So we're going to say, create a Shopify app using Shopify CLI version 3. Point, was it 3.38? No, 3.8. And the Shopify app should display the products in another page. I guess that's complicated enough. So let's just run that and wait for it to... Um... Okay, now it's asking me to execute or to allow this execution Shopify version. I'm just gonna allow it once and then after, once I'm comfortable, I will just YOLO it. So we got a new version 3.81. Is it going to install it? because I currently have 3.78, so I assume it's going to install it. Okay, the next command that it wants to run is npm init at Shopify app at latest, which is by the way, not the correct command. It should be Shopify app init. So whatever, let's just try that. It seems like the command to create a new Shopify app failed. Of course, because that's not the right command. It's supposed to be Shopify app in it. Let me try a different approach. I'll try to run a command without any arguments and let the CLI guide me through the process. So it's going to execute the same command without the flag. So, okay, let's just try it once again, but it's not going to work though. Maybe I should specifically say Shopify app in it. You know what? Yeah, let's YOLO it. Because the whole point of this video is just to see if it's gonna be able to figure out how to create Shopify app on its own. Okay, so I'll just allow everything. I apologize for the repeated errors. It seems I'm having trouble with the Shopify CLI's command line arguments. I'll try to find the correct command. Okay, so now it's searching. Interesting. I will now proceed with the next step of the request, which is to display the pro- What? You didn't even make shit. I'm having trouble creating a new Shopify app using the CLI in this environment. Would you like me to use the existing? Okay, maybe I should be very specific. So let's try it once again. Create a new Shopify app. A few inches. Okay, create a new Shopify app using Shopify CLI, meaning you should run Shopify app in it. I am more specific. And in this Shopify app, we should have a new page where the app displays the products of the online store. This should work now. If it doesn't, I'm quitting. I'm kidding. I am still unable to create a new Shopify app. Well, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like Okay, so it looks like it can't work with Shopify CLI. But what I'm going to do next is create the Shopify app using Shopify CLI myself. And then in the project, I'm going to use Gemini CLI to create whatever I want, okay? So let's try that. I'm going to open a new terminal or PowerShell and then I'll just run Shopify app in it. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so now it's done. We can just change our current directory to our weekly how GPT project. And this is where we can use Gemini, okay? But first, I'm going to log in. So we need to Shopify app dev. So we finally installed the Shopify app. We can just go back to VS Code and then use Gemini inside of our Shopify app project. This is funny. It says that the success rate is 100%. You didn't do sh Okay, so now we can just create a new Shopify app route. And in this route, I want to display all of the products from my Shopify online store. I will create a new route to display products from your Shopify store. First, I'll create a new file called app.products.tsx. Do we have that? We don't have that page or route. So I think we're good. So we can just allow that. 
I have created the new route. This route will fetch and display the first 25 products, but I can see five problems. Let's take a look at that. There is no vertical stack, by the way. I can see there are problems in the code that you wrote. Can you try fix that? It identified the problems and it will now correct the code in the app that products the TSX. Okay, so it appears that it's still using the vertical stack, which is not available, by the way. So I'll just copy that error and then go back to Gemini CLI and just paste it here. So now it removed the vertical stack. Let's go back to the app. There you go, finally. Okay, editor's note, I'm just gonna give you a quick summary of what happened, but basically we managed to display the products of our online store, right? We're good with that. After that, I asked Gemini to make it look nicer using the resource list from Polaris. So what it means is that it has to update the GraphQL query, right? We need the um, we need the product title, we need the body description, we also need images, so image source as well. But the problem is what it did is make it worse by using a wrong GraphQL object. So here's the GraphQL that it tried to use. It's using the resource publication on current publication. And I think what it's trying to do was check if the product was published on the current sales channel, which I'm quite confused why it needs to check the publication. Like when you can literally just use the product, the read product, access code to get all the products like what it did earlier. We already got the product, so I'm not sure why it needs to use this. So I give it the benefit of a doubt and went with it, all right? So I ask it to add the access scope to allow this API to work. After that, I spent almost an hour trying to figure out why it wasn't working. Eventually, I gave up and told Gemini to use the product scope or the product access scope. So now I've decided to just stop it right here and I'm just gonna let my past self explain why. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop it right here because I've been spending so much time trying to fix the error myself and try to fix it using Gemini CLI and it's not even working properly. I don't know, maybe it's my skill issue. I don't know. But yeah, personally, I don't see it working. It's great because it's free, so you can do it again and again and again. Now, my biggest issue with this is that it keeps using deprecated stuff and you have to always tell it to fix this, fix that, etc. And honestly, if you don't know anything about Shopify development, if you don't know anything about Shopify API, it's not gonna work. Now, I wouldn't say Gemini CLI is bad. I'd say it's good, but not for Shopify app development though. Which brings me to the next point. Can it make Shopify themes? And that's what we're going to do in the next video. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.